I'm, I'm always fascinated to talk, especially now that we're so many months into this, this paradigm shift. Do you have like kind of what are your thoughts on church just in general? Do you any sense of where things are going? I mean, it's pretty clear at this point. It feels like there's never like a time where we're like, okay, cool. We're right back to where we were. But like, right. what, what, what are you seeing? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like, yeah. really. Uh, I did, you know, Brian Houston posted something a, a while back that was just like such an encouragement to me where, where he was, essentially he was saying like, everybody's asking like, you know, what is God doing right now in the church and, and what is he going to do and what's going to come? And, and he, he was basically saying, you know, God is going to keep doing what he's always done. Sure. And, and he's going to keep moving in the same, you know, moving like he's always moved. And I think if anything, this time has been a, just even a reminder or a recalibration that the church isn't the, the meeting, you know, just the gathering service, like the church is God's people and the church is, you know, even if it's a, a community of people at a specific church, mm -hmm. uh, it goes beyond that. And I think that that's kind of what we're seeing. And so hopefully, you know, from a family unit perspective, families are, are locking into that idea more of like, you know, God's church is, is his people and, and the community that's taking place like within those people, you know, and it's not just a service. And so, but as far as like what it's going to look like, you know, from a, like when we, when we start meeting together again or, or, you know, I know a lot of churches are doing that half capacity stuff. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know what it's going to look like in 2021 or, you know, yeah, beyond. Sure. But, I, but I do think that that challenge or just even that reminder and just the, the idea of like, you know, God's church isn't slowing down yeah. just because we, you know, just because we've slowed down, like how we were meeting or changed the way that we were meeting. Sure. And I find a lot of encouragement in that. Yeah. Do you, do you have any advice for um, like the, the worship leader that still isn't meeting yet and kind of trying to figure out what they should be doing with themselves? I'd love to maybe coach them a little bit. You've got so much like great worship leadership under your belt. Right. Like what, what do you tell that person? It's like, that's all I, what, what I do if I can't get up there. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I feel it too, you know, cause I was leading, you know, traveling and leading all the time and, and yeah. all that shut down, you know, and, and I was really nervous. Um, I told to my wife, I was like, man, I'm, yeah, what, same thing. Like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I doing with my time? What am I doing right. with, like, with my energy? And, and I think like the biggest thing that I, I don't know that I would encourage people to do is, is that like being a worship leader, leading songs is like such a small component to your ministry. And it's such a small mm -hmm. component to like what the Lord has like called you to do that's yeah. a part of it. And being a leader, leading a worship moment is a part of it. But man, like relationally, that's like the biggest leadership thing that we can do is like, you know, pouring into the people that we're called to lead and building those communities. And, and I don't know, just like minister, like loving on people and, and, <laughs> you know, and, and, and being a present leadership like forcing people's lives is such a that's like the biggest part of what we do mm -hmm. and so i would just encourage people like to press into that you know there's a reason why the lord is like slow down that one aspect of what you do maybe it's to call to call you to like dig deeper in those other areas and yeah. to dig deeper in the relational side or the you know serving people side whatever it might be whatever it looks like for you specifically um just lean into that more was there was 